won't be doing it, G. You can, uh, you can tell me eh, as, as many times as you want. I won't be doing it. I will not refer to him as that. It's just not his name, remember, okay? Remember, call him Sir Gary no, Neville. Not remember, call him Sir Gary Neville. Remember, call him Gary, because that's his name. But you have to. No, I don't have to do anything. I'm not going to pander to Gary Neville. Sir Gary, how are you? Good to see you. Very good. Good. Uh, G, apparently, you start, please. Gary, I believe you had a couple of questions for Ben. <clears throat> what do the players say about the coaching? They love I the... think it's shit. They, they say anything. I think that question was for me, G. I th they love the coaching. They think the coaching is top notch. Uh, we've been doing it almost daily at this point. No, we've been doing it a couple of times a week. Um, and actually, it's funny you should call, Gary, because I did want to ask you a couple of questions. Um, what have you been up to since we last sort of spoke? I've not had that much. So what, what's been going on, Gary? I got a B in geography and a B in history. Can well, you believe that? Well, since we last, that's what you've been doing. GCSEs since we last spoke. G, what? What did you get in GCSE? An A star in information technology. Of course you did. Um, but Gary, seriously, mate, it's it's, it's all a laugh and that. Where have you? You never came during preseason, did you? We never did. No, you never did. What about even just a training session? Have you ever popped down just once? We never did. You never did. And since this poxy letter, all right, which I did, I did appreciate. What? When have you been in contact? We never did. You never did get in contact. You're right. You didn't. So what am I supposed to do? All right, I'm sick of this. Che cheerio. You will regret that. I know I will. Run the intro. Right, welcome back to the Salford story. Uh, since we last met them, we had a draw and a defeat. It wasn't the best start, uh, but since then, we've played some, I would, I would argue, weaker opposition, and things have been looking up for us. Uh, two wins against Mikolova and Barwell, uh, a 2 0 defeat to Blythe, who are probably one of the better sides in the division, uh, and a 4 1 against Matlock. Today, we play Ramsbottom and uh, Nant. Is, well, how do you say that? Nantwich. Nantwich. Hmm, Nantwich. <gasps> I, I do Twitch. Dot .tv slash Dr. Benji, link in the description. So, those uh, results have left us fifth in the table. Three wins, one draw, two losses. Uh, a decent enough goal difference at this point. Sutton, Coalfield, Blythe leading the way with Marine and Buxton. So, a little bit of catching up to do, uh, but not a problem. You know, you start off start off slowly, work your way up. Hopefully, a couple of wins today and things will be hunky-dory. Uh, if you look at the team, you can see some goals uh, over on this side. If you look at our top goal scorer, is Seddon now with five goals, uh, Paul with three, and uh, they're, they're in on the assists as well. Not doing too badly at all. Danny Weber are injured amongst quite a few other players um, and also I've changed the formation we were playing with wider players uh, I've already locked in the game because I'm foolish and so excited to start uh, so here we are then Hal Aaron's going to play at left back Johnson and Lukic in the middle uh, Lynch at right back uh, Moses playing just in front as the anchor man Clark and Byrne in the middle Tidy in behind Poole and Seddon oh that, that goes over there I never knew that sorry we're just learning here Football Manager 2016 tips tricks and guides put your mouse over it oh oh anyway so yeah this is the team we're going to play it's a formation i used uh, with the swindon lot last football manager if you saw the series then you'll recognize it slightly uh playing with a shadow striker with a with a forward player sitting a little bit further back tends to work quite well so that's what we're going to try out today uh james paul's quite well rounded as i say he's sort of a league two player um so in this division he should be tearing it up so hopefully he does do just that so let's get into today's game uh against rams bottom which is just fun to say let's face it right that's the team we're facing it's quite a standard formation we're going with our sort of it's, it's two banks of three. We play with a forward three and a midfield three, and the wing backs do the work for us. So hopefully it's going to work. Uh, I say it's worked in the lower leagues before. Swindon were in League One, so that's a little bit offensive. For anyway, Craig Tanner. Oh, throwback. Can Craig Tidy be the Tanner of his generation? There's no other players we could possibly compare Craig Tidy to. Right then, the games begin. Uh, we have changed the instructions up as well. Prevent short goal kicks, use tight marking, retain, pos uh, retain possession, dribble less, uh, closing down, and the tempo is a little bit higher. The closing down is, I think, slightly further up than it was previously as well. Uh, so let's see how we get on. Fairly wide also is something we've added to uh, the instructions. Anyway, we're 10 minutes in now. Things are flying by. So Rams Boston are actually 23rd in the league. They are without a win so far this season. So routinely, this should be easy, right? But this is this is a Dr. Benji FM live com. So uh, as the ball's played forward... Panic stations, everyone. Panic stations. They're using the width very well. Obviously, it's not something we've got a lot of, as Lynch puts in a tackle. Meany. Oh, he's got the ball. If he scores, he'll be a annoyance. Uh, ball across the other side. Had up with it. That looks like that's been spelled a mistake. And O'Donnell scored. I mean, what goes on? What goes on? We've not had a shot yet. 20, th we were battered. We just won the last game 4 1. I don't know what happens. I don't know what happens. They've got fans as well. How is that fair? And palm trees in the background. Uh, ball in. O'Donnell volley. 
for goodness sake. Plenty of time to come back into this one though, plenty of time. Plenty of time, plenty of time. As half time approaches, which means we get to, like people are saying, get assertive. Where's the passion, lads? Do you want to win this match? They, they kind of liked it. I'm gonna tell them disappointed. There we are, disappointed. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna close down more. Right, second half, we're not gonna make any changes at this point. Fitness isn't too bad, it's, it's slowly getting there. We're like six games in now. The, uh, the fitness is getting better and better as the games go on. We just need to find goals. Seddon, if he gets a chance, he'll score. I'm guaranteeing it. He's on the ball now. Plays it back to Halaran. Ball in to Pool. <sighs> Could have entered the game with, with a splash there. Good James Pool. Seddon knocks it out. Halaran back into the middle. Cleared. Moses now covering. Burn. Can you play it? Oh, it like, we need to get it out wide. There we are then. Halaran. Ball in. Seddon will be there. Seddon. It's hit the bar. For goodness sake. Oh, another chance. Ball back in. Burn and cleared. Come on, boys. This is not good enough. I'm going to use one of the team talks. I'm going to assertively say, get creative. Oh, God. Okay. I feel like we should make a change. Richie Allen is going to come on for James Poole, who's put in a piss poor performance in today's game. Richie Allen, though. FA Cup hero. Come on. Aharon into Clark. Back to him. Ball to the back. That is, that is so bad. I'd love to say, oh, they're a good team in this league. They're not. They're rubbish. Allen. Richie Allen. He gets onto it. Ball whipped in. He's had a shot. Seddon. Come on. This is getting ridiculous. This is getting daft. Actually daft. I've just gone defensive by accident. Counter attack. I'm just, I'm just trying all the other options. How do we lose against Rams bottom? Rams bottom. 1 0 defeat. Brilliant. Aggressive. Not good enough. Not good enough. Well, then, that's a. Uh, not a good start. The fans are devastated. The fans are devastated. I'd like to know how many fans travelled away there. Three guys have gone. Well, that's not very good. Devastated devastated right little change up in personnel and i should note as well actually in terms of transfers we made a couple uh before well sort of in between the episodes we brought in alan mugan uh, there's a couple there's one more young lad that i'm trying to bring in center back uh he's sort of he's, he's, he's a potential star but if he doesn't come in i'm not going to show you him because i don't want to pick up the expectation and then get mocked about it in the comment section for months uh so here we are then alan Moog, uh, mugan mugan the cow we, we might just call, should we just call him the cow am i going to call a man the cow Gonna call him the cow, and then people will go, "Who's the cow?" In, in future episodes, you should have watched this one. Uh, good passing, good tackling, can fill that defensive midfield role. Uh, it's, it's it's one position we didn't have sort of two players for. We've got Moses there. Uh, we've also got the cow, which he's now called. Uh, but he's, he's injured today, which is a shame. He doesn't even get to make a, an appearance. And even if he does, it'll, it'll be milking it. Sorry, that will that will, that won't stop though. Uh, so into today's game we go. We're going straight into it. I'm not messing about. A four four two formation from the opposition. Something that I'm sure we can exploit. Uh, let's calmly say after the aggression I've shown them. Come on, I'll show them what you can do. We're going to go for a fluid attacking style to open up this game let's see how we get on i'm going to keep playing games until we win one and at that point we'll end the episode they've had a shot i'm not joking we're going to keep playing until we win this could be a 14 game episode if things go badly we are probably i would say the fifth or sixth best team in this division right so promotion would be very good and almost expected at this point anything worse than sixth we're a disgrace so far i've had an action-packed first half i mean can we do something boys we're away from home. We're going to counter-attack. And James Poole, probably our best... Well, if not our best player, one of our best players has got himself an injury. That's just great. Richie Allen's going to come on. Uh, we're going to change him up to a poacher as well. Two, two very forward players now. This is a risk. We might have to make Tidy come a little bit further back, get involved in the play a bit more. But, well, as I say all this, we have the ball, sort of. Moses, ball through. Richie Allen, you've got to get there, son. Pull it across. That's greedy. It's not even tidy. It's not even bloody tidy. He's on the bench today shambles bloody shambles and in at half time we're not losing i think that's important to know it's nil nil oh gary neville's gonna be livid i'm just looking forward to speaking to phil which i'm sure at some point will happen right come on a goal oh no not for them for goodness sake now this is a chance to break or not ball played in chamberlain lynch just sort of got there what is happening back there calamity now, at this point in the season, the league is very tight. Like, from, from what is it? 21st up to 4th, there's not much in it. So, I feel like a goal and a couple of wins, and you, you fly up the table like nobody's business, and then you start putting a run together. But, alternatively, this could be the sort of league where anyone can beat anyone, and we can beat this team. Seddon has gone in there. Gareth Seddon with the goal, our 34, 35-year-old striker, putting his name on the score sheet, and that moves us all the way up to 5th. That's what I'm saying. We were in 13th or something there. We've shot up to 5th with a win here. Come on. Right, you can see it. The ball's played in. Uh, a, a horror run uh, that's difficult and Rich, Richie Allen has been he's been tumbled over and said in a slide tackle that into the back of the net it's a sellout crowd here today uh, the ball boys making up most of the capacity okay another chance perhaps a convincing win after after well, I could say yesterday's defeat what I actually mean was 
two minutes ago's defeat. Uh, tackles come in, and they've got they're making the pitch very big. They're not attacking in numbers either. Uh, we we were in counter attack earlier. I may switch back to it, but then again, we can't get them out. We can't get them out of their own half. They're just they're sitting so deep. Reese play the ball in. Moses clears. As far as Kostlo and, and Lukic clears. It, it's decent defending. Another goal would put my mind at ease. I would sit far more comfortably. Although I am sitting quite comfortably now. Come on. What's happening? Nothing's happening. I'll make a change. God, I was, I was very slow to click there. Tidy's going to come on uh, and replace Clark. And we're also going to bring on... I see, I want to bring on the cow, but he's just not fit to play. We'll bring Kebby on. Uh, Lynch is struggling for fitness and on a yellow card. So we'll, we'll bring him off. There we are. A couple of changes. What can possibly go wrong? Okay. Time is ticking down. It's been, do you know what? There's not been that much go on in the two games we've shown you today, but we will leave it there. Uh, there we are then. A win for Salford, a way win, a 1 0 win, a standard win. It's the sort of win that you sort of, at the end of the season, you forget about. But at this point, key. It's vital. Takes us up to sixth place. Four wins, one draw, three losses in the league so far. Uh, but we are progressing up the league table. In this, in this division, anyone can beat anyone. It's the most exciting league in Europe outside of the Championship and the Premier League, according to the media. Gareth Seddon with the goal. I do want to quickly check before we leave uh, the situation with James Paul if he's out injured for a little while. I hope we've got physios. I'll say that much. There doesn't seem to be any news about it. So let's assume he's fine. He's not fine. We just didn't get told. 12 days with a concussion. Oh, okay. Well, he'll miss a couple of games, but not a problem. If anything, it might help his fitness overall if it's only a concussion. Um, and we go into the next game hoping to get some more good results. I think the next time we shall meet each other, uh, maybe we'll do the Whitby-Buxton clash. Who's doing well this year? So do we play Sutton Coalfield or Marine? That's the real question. Uh, oh, maybe we'll do Whitby-Buxton-Marine then. Maybe we'll do a, th a triple threat. Maybe we'll do a triple threat. Why not? If you've enjoyed today's video, hold just there. I still forget that we have to change to the other screen. Hello there, welcome. Thank you for watching today. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Both videos so far have hit a 1,000 likes. I daren't set it as a target. So 999 likes. There we are. Uh, no, in all seriousness, thank you for the support of the series so far. It's nice to see so many people enjoying it. Uh, and we'll be back again tomorrow. We love with care. From Dr. Benji, again, goodbye.